In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save changes on Elementor. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, Word, I was going to say WordPress, not WordPress, Firefox maybe, even Internet Explorer if it's working for you. And once you go and open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type element, elementor.com and hit the enter button. And that should take you directly to the home page or the main screen of the Elementor website. If you have an account, make sure to go to the top right corner, click at login, and you will find that page to enter your email, password, then sign in into your account or login into it, or you can even continue with your Google account to get logged in into your account without any time wasted. If you don't have an account, click at get started here at the top right corner, or you can click on that on the middle here, choose the design to start your website. Let's say an example, digital marketing for me, start with this design. And as you can see, they're actually asking you to pay for a plan, first of all, so you can start using the design. If you don't want to pay or anything, just go back and click at skip and start with a blank website and you can create your own. But as you can see, they'll even ask you for the same price, which is the basic plan. Of course, you can click on this or, or if you already have a hosting, click at see our plugin only plans. As you can see, there have the essential plan, expert plan and the agency plan. Each comes with its own features and price. So once you created your account or you sign in into your account, you'll find yourself on something like that, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen after you logged in into your account on Elementor website. So as I said in the beginning of the story, we would like to save changes. So once we get into the builder and let's say for example, we did all the changes we want. If you still didn't publish the websites, you will find here at the bottom left and publish option. But as said, if you did, if you publish already, you will find an update option. If you click on it, you'll be able to save the changes automatically, or you can click on this uh, option. And as you can see, you can save a draft or save as template. So you can save it from here as well, and you will be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.